Every great dish comes with a side, and in this case, it's bread. And you said fast and fabulous are your favorite words. Yes, Tell us are. why for this recipe. I don't know anybody who doesn't love fresh baked bread, mm -hmm. but so many people are afraid to make it. Yes, when you say homemade bread, I think I'm gonna be there all day, it's intimidating, but you say not the case with this recipe. No, it's not, and what's even nicer about this recipe is that it's not messy either. It's oh, all great. done in one bowl. No way, and it's all right here, yes. so what are we making? This is my wild rice from Minnesota I have. Um, beer stout, Irish stout, beer bread. By taking out some of the flour okay. in a traditional beer bread and replacing it with a cup of cooked wild rice, you're getting a new element that adds a whole new ambiance of flavor. And if you want to stir this I sure will. while I'm you're so stirring, excited to try this. <laughs> we're at to it. We're going to add a tablespoon of baking powder because that's our leavening agent. Yep. And we're going to add a teaspoon of unrefined colored salt. You can add anywhere from a quarter to a third to a half cup of sugar. That works with our secret ingredient in this recipe, which is beer. I found it's got to be a stout okay. beer because okay. that is what causes the magic to happen. And you want to go ahead and stir this. You got it. And here comes the magic. You want to give it a really good stir. Whoa, it's kind of like It's frothing, frothing. yes. yes. <laughs> And you want to keep flipping it over just like that till it's nicely mixed. And then I have a loaf pan that I've lined with some parchment paper to make it easy. Keep lightly folding until you don't see any more flour. And then you scoop it into the bowl. There you go. They want to see too, don't this you? This is huh? so yes. quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, truly. And how long did it take you to do the rice? I mean, that doesn't take that long either. It yeah. only takes about 30 minutes. And what I do is I cook a, a whole bag like this. Okay. I just throw it in water in a pan. Take your spatula and carve like a little channel, I say. A little divot in, in there. In the center. Okay. Push the sides out. Because this is my... Take it a little over the top touch here at the end. I take butter. Oh, there's more. Yes. Butter. Butter goes on top. But this is good and soft. Yes. This I can and, tell we've been sitting this out is, here for a bit. Because we're using the Irish stout, I'm using Irish butter. And this goes into a 350 degree oven for 55 minutes. Okay. And it's ready to eat. Okay. It's Let's like get that. it in there. <laughs> I came up with this cute little spread to add to the beer bread. And it starts with just four ounces or so of some nice soft Irish butter. I've added two ounces of Neufchatel, or you can use cream cheese if you like. And then I add just a little sprinkling of salt, and I add a little bit of my husband's maple syrup from our tree, just a bit. And then I add what's left of the nitro stout, which is usually between an ounce or two, depending on the beer. And you wanna mix this up really well to work the beer and the maple syrup into the fat. It takes a little bit of arm work, makes for a very sweet spread to go on top of that bread. It really makes it extra special. Ah, that's all I can say. Oh, the aroma. <laughs> if there was smell-o-vision, truly, this is the time. I wish we could share this smell because it is delicious. The bread is yes. done. The wild rice nitro stout beer bread has baked up beautifully. And what we're going to do is, of course, take a slice. My favorite thing to do is just pop it right out of the pan. That is so easy. Yes, very easy and easy to slice. Mm. I kind of hold it together and saw with a widely serrated knife. Look at that. There you go. You want to. Oh. Give it a... It's beautiful, yes. Give it a nice... Should I try it first with the with the butter sauce? You could try try it alone try it and alone. try it with some okay. butter. It's okay. hot. It's hot out of the oven. Hot out of the oven. That rice makes it beautiful, too. It, it does have a nice visual appeal as well. But it, it has a flavor that's not mm. what you expect. Mm. That is unlike anything I've ever had before. And I can't even describe it. Just the rice and the stout and the the heartiness of it, but yeah, it's It tastes like bread. Light. Yeah, it's bread. It tastes like fresh baked bread, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Oh, it's so good. Like bakery took hours to make bread, doesn't it? But it didn't. <laughs> no. That's the best part. 
It did not. All right, I'm gonna throw a little bit of cream on there. I know, I think we could just dunk it. Yeah, you probably <laughs> could. I have, I've done it. It's buttery, it's good. It just soaks in, like as if anything else could soak into that bread. Like this mm -hmm. just, it just pairs so nicely with it. Well done. Well, thank you. Well done. You can't get bread. That's more fast and fabulous than that, can you? I'm gonna keep eating it. <laughs> mm. There she goes.